Oh. How's it going guys? It's your boy JoJo's Whips back with another video. And on today's video, I'm gonna be listing the five things I love about my Tesla Model S Plaid. As you guys saw a couple weeks ago, maybe it was like two or three weeks ago, I did a video on the five things I hated about the car. And then, you know, it's the only time before I could do the five things I love. And um, I, sh I was trying to get the video out sooner, but I've been dealing with moving. We finally got into our new house. So I'll be doing a lot more content and stuff and some on how to's and whatnot. And then we're also gonna start the 71 Caprice build. Stay tuned for that one. And um, we're gonna get right into it. So the number one thing that I love is obviously gonna be the performance, which is pretty much one of the biggest reasons why I purchased the car. You know, the car from factory has a little over a thousand horsepower. I think it's like a thousand twenty and then over a thousand foot pound of torque as well. And you know, it's all wheel drive. Um, you could actually adjust the, the, the drive mode. You know, you could put it to where if you want to drive it front wheel drive, you know, it has a little slider so you could change the percentage. So if you want 50, 50 or, you know, 70% up front and 30% in the rear, or if you just want to make it strictly front wheel drive or rear wheel drive, you could also put it in drift mode. But, um, and then you got also one speed cause you know, there is no transmission. So, you know, you just get on it and it goes and pretty much, I mean, a lot of stuff on the road will not be able to touch this car. And it's pretty crazy to say, especially with the big price drops that you just did, you know, pretty much um a couple of months ago they had dropped the price down to 108,000 and at that point I thought this car was a pretty good deal for that but now you could pick one up brand new for 88,000 a plaid and then you know I think within the 21 inch wheels these are 22s um but with the 21 one inch Tempest and then um I think something else it put it to like 93,000 or 94,000 which is honestly a steal for this car and especially you know how much it charges to or you know how much it costs to charge it up but um i'll input some clips in right now and some videos on um on you know just showing how fast this car is so you guys can see oh. And as you guys could see from those videos I inputted, and you know, this car is, you know, it's a blast to drive. It beats pretty much everything I've messed with on the road. It keeps up with, it, it, it's pretty much beating every bike I've messed with, you know, obviously until we get up to high speeds, you know, high, high speeds in, in Mexico once this car tops out. But, um, and if you guys were also wondering, the car is on 22 inch Vossen wheels. These are the HF5s, uh, 22 by nine in front, 22 by 10 and a half in the rear. And then, um, but yeah, you guys obviously know these cars are pretty fast for what they are. I mean, let me not say fast, they're quick, but you know, they're pretty fast, honestly, you know, for a daily driver, this is my daily driver. And honestly, I would say this is probably one of the best daily drivers ever. Cause you know, it's cheap to maintain and whatnot. And, and then, um, so yeah, so now we'll be getting into number two which is gonna be the trunk space, front space, and just interior space overall. I'll, guy, I'll show you guys the trunk first. We'll open that up. <clears throat> so, as you guys could tell, it is technically a hatchback, but um, there's a lot of storage in here. You know, the seats even fold down. Um, you got this compartment down here, which I just keep just miscellaneous, couple things in here. And you could also put some stuff down in this storage compartment as well, which is pretty deep. You have your net up here to keep your stuff up there. You got your push button. <clears throat> then interior wise, you got a lot of room, a lot of space. Front space as well. You know, this car has a lot of room in it. Let me open the front. 
open just like that. We got the frunk open. And honestly, I thought it would have been a little bit bigger in here. You know, but you also do have to think about that there is the one electric motor right behind here. So, you know, the space. But um, it isn't bad at all, though. You know, you could fit a garbage, full, uh, garbage bag full of stuff and then another one. So, I mean, it's not bad at all. Just There's just not very much height-wise on it. But besides for that, I can't beat it. And then um, I'll actually go sit in the back seat for you guys so you guys can really see the leg room. <clears throat> so, yeah, got a lot of room. Um, I'm 5'11", so, you know, I still got plenty of room. And my seat's actually pushed back right now since it is on the comfort setting. So, you know, when you turn the car off, the seat will scoot back. And then and number three, guys, is that the car does have air suspension from factory, which is honestly, in my opinion, one of the greatest things about this car because since this is my daily driver the car is pretty low and you know since I, it is my daily there is plenty of times and pre plenty of plazas i pull in and they have real deep inclines or declines and i don't want to rub the front i'll just raise the car up on the screen which i'll show you guys in a second on how do you do that and um and yeah you just raise it up and then you can save it for that location so every time you go to that location again the car or automatically already rise with you know 50 feet before you get to that location it'll already start rising which is you know a, a big 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 deal to me because you know in the in all my hellcats that i've had that was always a big issue was you know i'd always have to slam on the brakes and then cra kind of crab walk into places you know to try to get in but with this you know you just can't beat it and I'll show you guys how the screen looks right now real quick. <clears throat> and then let's see. So you go right here. You go to suspension. And then you see you got low, medium, high, very high. Very high. And then you could have you could actually set it to where um so this is too low right now because I'm I'm guessing because it's it's in the garage. But um you can have it persist till 15 miles per hour, and then the front you can have it until 35. And then medium or lower, pretty much all the ones you could always ride in. Then you got all your dampening. You could show, um, you could actually see all of your suspension data as well, which I'm not 100% sure how accurate this is. But, um, but yeah, and then you could, uh, you know, go soft, firm, sport. I always leave it in firm and sport because since the car is pretty low on the lowering springs, I don't want too much, you know, wheel movement because I don't want to rub on the fenders or whatnot. And, um, and then you could also put that for autopilot, default right to low. And I'll also input a clip right now of, so you guys can see the car going up and down. <laughs> As you guys can see in the video that I just input, you guys did see the car going up and down with the, you know, for me controlling it from the screen. And uh, and now we'll get on to number four, which is going to be the interior. And pretty much just talking about, you know, the interior, got some carbon fiber that goes all the way across. I changed the steering wheel because I did not like the yoke steering wheel. I believe this is from Unlimited Customs. I'm not 100% sure. I can't remember. I actually picked this up on eBay for a really big sale. Um, the whole roof is pretty much suede. It goes all the way back even into the hatch, which I'll show you guys that as well. Um, you got your little animation of the car. And it'll even show you too, like if you turn the wheel. Let me see. It might not do it right now, but yeah, there's, just, there's, a, there's a bunch of stuff in here that, you know, there is a bunch of settings. So, yeah, as you guys can see, I did put Mars on so you guys can't see my location. You know, it's not a bad thing, but, you know, there's some people out there. You just never know. But um, there's actually a really cool feature that Tesla just added the other day in an update. So if you actually, if you're driving before, like if I ever was going to pull into somewhere and it was kind of a steep incline or whatnot, I would always have to go into here and then put the ride to very high, which I showed you guys that already. But I would always have to do that, you know, manually to have it saved. But Tesla actually just came out with an update where if you're driving, you could actually set this button up if you hold it to where then that that'll be the new, you know, the new button. So you can have it control your suspension, um, 
I can't remember. There's a bunch of other buttons you could have it programmed to be. But since I, right as soon as I saw that you could control your suspension from here, I said, oh, I got to program that because now every time there's anything, I just hold this button and I'm going to sit here messing with the screen and whatnot. And um, <clears throat> yeah, we got chill, sport, plaid, drag strip mode. Um, you can change the steering. You can put it into track mode, which, you know, we'll try that real quick. Let's see, track mode. And then, you know get all of your stuff it'll tell you your front brake temperature tire pressure rear brake temperature you know you can set up your laps and whatnot there's a lot of stuff you could do with this and um you can put it in drift mode race mode you know drift mode pretty much makes it just rear wheel drive and then turns all the stability and everything off which is a really cool feature <clears throat> um you guys saw the suspension charging autopilot but yeah, there's just a lot of stuff that you could do with this car. Um, but you see, oh yeah, scroll wheel function. So that's what this button is. So you could just go into here and you could actually change it, you know, to the fan speed, display, save dash cam, acceleration mode. So that was really stuck on either suspension or acceleration mode. But I ended up just making my mind up on suspension because, you know, that's like the number one thing I'm always changing. But, um, but you know, there's quite a few other things you could do as well that button oh let me fix that um but yeah pretty much you know you can see all of your stuff you can put it into car wash mode tow mode you know you could change your wheel and tire setup through here um factory reset jack mode so you know if you're ever going to jack your car up so you know those airbags can kind of get seated at the right position so you could jack the car up um you know you guys can pretty much see all that much it and then now we will go over into the back seat which i will show you another big thing that i love about this car especially having kids this is a big one for me and that is the rear screen so you could actually you know you could adjust your climate from back here you could have it point to wherever you're sitting at you could also go over here and you have netflix disney plus twitch hulu youtube um and then you could also um this is another new update that they did you could um push this button so you can move that seat up the passenger seat from back here which is a pretty cool feature as well move it back and um and then yeah you know there's you know you can put the heater on for all the rear seats um the ac um but yeah this is this is honestly a big selling factor to me on this car was having kids and you know them being able to sit back here and watching tv you know they pretty much just watch anything that they want to watch and just like that guys we'll move into number five which is going to be maintenance and some of you guys already know the maintenance with these cars and some of you don't but there's pretty much no maintenance on this car um pretty much just uh tires brakes which brakes are pretty you know my car's almost at thirty thousand miles already and I still don't need to do brakes, which is, you know, a big thing also because the car has a regen, regen braking, which is the, you know, the electric motors pretty much slowing the car down. So you don't have to use your brakes as much. But, um, but you know, you don't really have to worry about brakes that often. They say anywhere from, I think it was 40 to 60,000 miles with these cars. Um, you know, obviously if you drive a lot harder, you know, you're going to have to get brakes, but I pretty much just don't use the brake pedal really at all, unless I'm getting on it on the highway in Mexico or whatnot, or at the drag strip. But, um, but pretty much the only thing you have to do is just change your tires and just put in, um, windshield, you know, fluid, you know, wiper fluid. And then, um, you're pretty much good to go, which is why this is honestly the ultimate daily, you know, I mean obviously you could just go with like a model three or whatnot but if you can afford to get one of these honestly i would just do it you know I'm, I'm honestly a car guy you know i've been messing with this you know this is my pride and joy this is my dream car right here but as far as a daily you know you can't beat it you know to, you know full charge on this car you know it could range anywhere depending on if there's a discount it could be like 14 dollars to 24 dollars and, you know, that'll pretty much last you a full tank of gas, you know, you know, a whole full tank of gas that a gas car would give you. But that's just my opinion. I know there's people out there, you know, that are totally against these cars, which, you know, I totally understand as well. But you got to think of it as a, you know, 
this car could pretty much just do it all. You know, you could fit, you know, five adults in here. You could have a trunk full of stuff, the front full of stuff. And, you know, you could pretty much just beat everything on the highway. You know, a lot of cars won't, you know, can't really keep up with this unless, you know, you got some modified stuff and whatnot. But that's, you know, my opinion, this is the ultimate daily. And then um, I would say just below this, I would say is the uh, probably the Model 3 performance. But, you know, it's just you don't get the air ride and all the other cool stuff that this car gets. But um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm going to be having a video coming out on the 71 Caprice pretty soon, too. And then we're also going to be having some Audi content, which you guys can see the front bumper right there. And then um, I got some good garage goodies. I got to take I got to do a video on my garage setup, but I got a couple more things I got to finalize. I got to empty some more boxes since we just finished moving. And um, and yeah, this is JoJo's Whips and I'm out. Mm -hmm.